Hello, long riders. I got an exciting fly for you today. I got you one amazing Copper John coming to you today. It's an amazing fly, deadly. You want to have it in your box. So without any further more talking about this fly, let's get to the vice and tie it right now. Okay, we're gonna tie, run our tying thread back about halfway back, and we're gonna tie on one of these olive pheasant tail. We're gonna tie about four or five fibers of the tail, tail fibers in. We're gonna measure it for length, the length of the shank of the hook. Now we're going to tie in this ultra wire copper and small size. We'll tie that in. Now you want it to start to form a tapered body, starting right out, thickest right behind the bead and tapering down to the tail. Now you want to start wrapping your, your wire forward and you want to get these wraps as close together as you can. Uh, if you leave a little gap in between each wrap, it's not that big of a deal. I haven't noticed that that catches less fish. So just keep them as close as you can and wrap them all the way up to the, about the bead. Now you want to tie off your wire real well so it doesn't unravel and then helicopter it to break it off, secure it down. Now let's look at these legs. See the part of that leg all the way in the left with the, it's all the way down with the legs facing forward? That's what you tie in next to the bead. Right, the legs right up against using that tab you'll cut off later. It's in front of the legs. You tie them legs right up against the bead. And that's how you tie these in. We're going to start by tying it in with a couple of thread wraps right behind the bead with that tab sticking up. Then you're going to wrap it behind the first set to the second set and then a couple of thread wraps behind the second set. With the third set of legs you're going to cut off.
You're going to pull up on the front tab, cut it as close as you possibly can, and pick up on the back tab, and cut that as close as you can to the back legs without cutting any legs off or your thread off. Now we're going to tie in this nib skin right behind the front legs and in between the sets of legs. I'm going to peel the paper, cut it, cut it about a quarter inch thick, cut, peel the paper off and tie it in. Now we're going to take some of this dark gray ice dubbing and dub that in up to the bead. Now you're gonna wrap this uh, nymph skin up and tie it down right behind the bead and cut off excess. Throw two sets of wet whip finishes on this boy. Hey, welcome to the end of the video. If you like this video, check out some other ones that are here on the screen. Um, make sure you tie, go back and tie all these videos. May, time to tie. Keep your lines wet out of the trees and only give them fish a sore lip.